Okay, second update video to the 282T tanker project in HO scale. Uh, the bottom chassis has gone through a number of different iterations. On the right hand side is the first one moving over to the left. Um, it's obviously gotten skinnier so that the wheels can sit flush and the um, uh, kind of uh, lip of the wheel, you know, obviously holds the uh, train within the uh, HO scale track. And uh, for wheel clearance, actually, the motor has gone from sort of being uh, angled like it was before to sitting straight up and down inside the chassis, and it'll actually sit in that tender now. Uh, this is mostly because this back wheel right here was colliding with the kind of outer portion of the wheel housing. Uh, so in order to solve that problem, it had to be turned instead of angled, uh, just perpendicular to the actual chassis. <clears throat> The uh, there needs to be a set of two uh, front guiding wheels as well as a set of two back guiding wheels. Still need to figure out the coupler, uh, coupler placement um, as well as electrical pickup. Uh, for electrical pickup, what I'm hoping to do is, and this is you know of course based off of the uh, little Mount Rainier Scenic Railway um, trip that I took. So <clears throat> the uh, electrical pickup is actually going to come from the trailing cars just so I'm not trying to cram too many parts in here. And because on these style, uh, older style cars, uh, one set of wheels is insulated and one set of, apologies for the terrible paint job by the way, but still a work in progress. Um, as you can see, one set of wheels is plastic down here in the bottom and one set of wheels is actual metal. I think if I flip those and then have one, uh, you know, and just kind of maybe put like a little brass piece that puts into some uh, electronics with a voltage regulator that sit inside the uh, passenger car and then feeds the uh, to the uh, just positive and negative terminals on the DC motor here. Um, it will work fairly sufficiently. So granted, it has to go from, oh gosh, uh, 16 volts down to 3 because these motors are rated for 3 HO. From what I've read is 16. If you know differently, please tell me. <clears throat> um, besides that, it's coming together nicely. Uh, the chat, um, the actual shell will need to be totally redesigned. The cab is going to need to be bigger in order to kind of maintain uh, a very similar look. The tender is going to be bigger. Same with the kind of boiler and the uh, kind of this back little. Uh, what do you call it? Oh no, the cab's going to be bigger than the, the tender in the back, of course, is going to be bigger. Um, so it's all going to sort of be inflated a little bit more just to fit this kind of uh, honking motor right, in, right inside there. Um, and then, of course, coupler placement. And yeah. Oh, besides that... Um, the wheels have kind of been interesting to make. They actually are 3D printed. And they are, let's see if I can get this to focus. Uh, very, very tiny. And I need to switch it from doing the uh, kind of lattice infill to just being one solid piece. Because you get sort of this issue where on the uh, counterweight side, um, the uh, kind of bit of filament that goes over that doesn't totally seal it off. That being said, I will have another update video out soon, and the project's progressing very nicely so far.